Christmas time is near and everyone is getting ready for the holidays. In fact, there is one place in particular that is more than ready for festivities. Within the heart of Marietta, Georgia, in the jewel of Marietta Square, stands Marietta Theater in the Square, home of the Emil Theater. Come follow me. Along with being greatly known for its amazing productions, it also offers a wonderful concession stand and bar. This is a place where many may call their second home. I was also granted the opportunity to speak with the owner of My name is Raul Thomas. I am the proprietor and uh, business manager of Marietta's new theater in the square here in Marietta, Georgia. So, Marietta's New Theater in the Square was founded in 2015 by Raul E. Thomas, which is myself, and Emil Thomas. Uh, we saved the theater. We saved the theater that had been closed for uh, five years, which prior was a 30-year legacy, uh, originally named Theater in the Square. Um, we renamed it Marietta's New Theater in the Square to preserve some of the legacy and the work that had been done in this institutional uh, space. And uh, we were able to acquire the space and create the very first for-profit community theater in Marietta, Georgia. Marietta's Theater in the Square has actually been in preparation for the Christmas performance entitled Gift of the Magi 2.0. This show has been performed every year since this theater has been open. Let's see how the show is coming out now. Your coat is stunning. Oh, thank you. And I love your hair. Hey, it's beautiful. Is this your hairstyle? I do it myself. No kidding. It is beautiful. So stunning. Oh, I would I was able to speak with one of the performers as well. My name is Emil Thomas. I am the Executive Artistic Director of Marietta's Theater in the Square. What inspired it was, I always wanted Atlanta to have its own holiday story. So for me, I had always felt like, eh, I'm a Christmas buff. I love Christmas, I love the holidays, but and so for the holidays for me, it's all about like going home, watching movies, re-watching movies, re-watching the holiday TV special shows, listening to the new Christmas albums. Like I'm just that type of guy. And so I've always noticed that Atlanta or Georgia doesn't have a holiday story. There's New York, there's Chicago, there's Seattle, there's Philadelphia, there's California, there's Tennessee, Nashville, but there is not a Georgia Christmas story. I did some research and found out that Gift of the Magi, the original story by O. Henry, um, had just become public domain two or three years prior to 2016. So we're talking about 2013, 2012. And so that meant that it was now legal for you to write an adaptation and not have to seek rights from the original writer. And so I decided that I was going to write. I had been doing a lot of playwriting in college and taking a lot of classes. And so I told the team at the time, um, I am going to disappear for an entire week. And uh, I stayed at home for an entire week, read the five page uh, short story that had four lines of dialogue and created Gift of the Magi 2.0, which originally was just a 45 minute version one act. Clearly, there is a lot of time and effort put into preparing such a significant and meaningful production, but bringing the show into fruition leaves a great feeling of accomplishment. Hi, I'm Marquise, and I am the production manager here at Marietta's Theater in the Square. Um, I hope to accomplish, um, I want to learn all aspects of theater and gain enough experience to where um, eventually at one day I can own my own theater. While running a theater can be a great joy with many pleasurable aspects, this industry can display its challenges. Ah. The worst aspect of the theater business is some of the inconsistencies that we need to go through with 
people understanding that um, we are not a non-for-profit theater, so we count on them to show up and be able to support us. But some of the great things that we have is that we have an amazing village. Uh, we have an amazing audience, and we have some great people that believe in the work that we do and support us day in and day out. Despite its difficulties, this labor of love is a place of hard work, camaraderie, and a shared love of the arts from all walks of life. I think on a larger scale, when we talk about theater itself, theater ER, uh, I am trying to, at this moment, trying to find a way for us to not be a second thought um, for us not to be the afterthought, for us to be in a conversation of collegiate, um, uh, of a collegiate status. Um, I think black theater as a, as a whole is very behind in that it has not been developed or it has not been explored to its depths so that it can be a standard so that um, generations of black artists following us know how to train and have an idea where to train and how to grow and how to um, do our work in standard with quality. Um, and I think for me, theater, the ER, that's where, that's where we need to do our work and that's where we need to grow. Um, we will be here forever. Theater has literally stood the times of times of times um it is unbeatable no matter evolution no matter growth but we do owe ourselves um quality and we do owe ourselves standard and we do owe ourselves to do um do some work that's going to make it a little bit easier for the next generation even though everyone may come from various backgrounds everyone can agree to one thing about this theater we really make it feel like home the message about Marietta Theater in the Square is that Marietta Theater in the Square is home. If you've never been to Marietta Theater in the Square and you want to see something that's authentic, something that's, that's warm, that's family owned, that's family driven, and you want to feel like you're being welcomed home, then this is the place to be. This is the place to see those stories that maybe never see anywhere else. This is the place to hear those musicals in ways that you might have never seen them before. But at the end of the day, this is a place that we, as we say every day here at the theater, we wish that you felt at home. So that's why we say welcome home. Marietta's Theater in the Square would like to welcome you home.